I've figured it out. Exactly what I want to do with you. I want to go on a date. A first date. No weapons, no monsters, no mysterious voices. Just you and me and dinner. Please say yes. Yes! Oh, amazing. Put on your least bloody tunic and meet me back here. Oh, I'm so excited! Give me a beat to run ahead. I want to make sure everything's absolutely perfect. See you there. Thank you. Hmm. Baldurian seafood stew. No, thank you. What do you think you'll have? Just what I had in mind. Huh? Two of the Rothe ribs, please. And two glasses of... And two glasses of beer. <clears throat> so, you're an adventurer, right? How's that going? First date, remember? Tonight, you're a mystery to me. It's <laughs> all I can do to keep my hands to myself anyway. We're terrible at this. <laughs> Show me your ways. That's easy. <laughs> During year two of my fabulous adventure in celibacy in Avernus, I once got so... um... pent up, I burnt down my field tent. Blamed it on an imp, and never told a soul the truth. Beat that. Hmm. <laughs> we'll have to make some new secrets between us, then. Oh, hey, here comes our food. Uh, hey, uh, Hank, I think we ordered the... It's a bleeder. Worst guy I ever met. Anyway, how about a toast? Oh, shit! May we live every day like it's our last. Because you never know when your last will come. company. Whatever do you mean? We're just two normal people living normal lives, very, very normally. I know I can't stay forever here with you. In fact, I feel like, like I don't have long left at all. We've been through so much. And the worst is yet to come. 
I have every reason to feel terrified, hopeless, not giving up. But to be here with you in the city I love, in this world that I love so much, it's all I could really ask for. You hear me? You're all I could ever ask for. I love you. And I know that whatever else this city will throw at us, we can handle it. Come on, there's something I want to show you upstairs. After you, 